I gotta get the pedal out. There's a little pin. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. You gotta remove that pin. Then the pedal should just fall out. There's actually a little pin back in here. You can see it. A little like clip. Kind of hard to see, but you can just put a pick in there, and as soon as that comes off, then man, the rod, the pedal rod will come out. Here's the clip. And after that, you just get this clip. Pin, rod, whatever you want to call it. And it just comes right out. And here's the pedal. Got some sort of goofy uh, controller on it. Jiggle and wiggle. You'll have to uh, remove the dead pedal stop or the, the pedal stop right here. 12 millimeter Allen head. What I'm trying now is to build a bracket. You can see this, um, the Mark IV pedal has this little notch, nipple, rib, whatever you want to call it. Well, it can line up directly on the bottom of that or the top of it. See, it kind of like hooks, hooks on, see? Um, it's just an angle now, so if I get the angle there, I think that looks pretty good. We'll uh, come out here, and I have a piece of metal. I think it's 3 16 thick by an inch. It's a pretty wide piece. And then you can see uh, you always have to drill out the spot right here for that little nipple that sticks out that's kind of like a, a locator so you can see you have plenty of room for bolt holes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark mark the holes on that you know through through the pedal and then i'll just i'll drill them out and then i'll find three relatively long bolts that match like the, the oem ones and i'll just tack weld them on the back of this and then that'll be the base plate We'll bolt the pedal to that base plate and uh, I'll probably do it down here because uh, this is actually a pedal stop right here. I don't, I'll have to add something for this, a little bend or something. It does stop, see? <clears throat> it's not like you can really overextend it. Um, you just don't want to overextend it. You can definitely do it with your, it's a big heavy foot. So as long as you get it right to that end and put that bar there or something to stop it, you'll be golden. You know, that little bit of hyperextension isn't going to be horrible if, if, if it happens. Just as long as you're not, you know, mashing your foot to the floor and kicking it, you know, kicking it way out. But that's what I'm going to do. Drill, put some bolts in there, tack it, and take it back to the car. And then off of the sides, I think I'll just make two side pieces. I go to the OEM uh, holes on the Mark III, and then maybe I'll put like some sort of spacer in between. I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out. Just center punch them. sits in flush. You can see the idea of it. I have three uh, torques through there and then they're going to be welded on the back side to make them tight. Clean these off and then uh, just do like three tacks. That's all you got to do is just tack weld these. It'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm going to be welding steel so switch it over to DC. And then uh, it's 
it's pretty thick so I think 130 would be fine and I'm just gonna be buzz 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 easy enough Must have been like air in the line or something like that, because uh, one came out cruddy, but the other ones, you get the you get the deal. You know, just quick little buzz. It's literally just to hold them in there. That way, when you go to tighten the bolt, it doesn't have to be structural. It's literally there just to hold the bolt, basically, so you don't have to have a nut or anything, or sorry, a socket on the back side of it. That's all it is. It's just basically, basically makes them, making like a captured nut. You screw it in, you don't have to worry about holding it on the other side. What I'm gonna do is, we're gonna keep this right here. Um, I have the exact measurement, it's 55, uh, crap, what is it? 57.5 millimeters wide is the uh, actual pedal. So what I'm gonna do is cut a piece of this exactly that amount, and then uh, I'll notch it so it fits around this bolt, and then I'll, weld it directly to that so this is this is what the bracket should look like and then I'll have two holes back here to go through uh, I'll put like a little spacer bar in between but a nut and bolt will go through and uh, this will be the part that's actually on that'll that'll bolt to the the bracket so as soon as that's made and good then I can uh, bolt it in place and then I can just go in and I'll have this notch, it notch for uh, this this bolt head. So then, that way I can I can set the pedal up a little bit higher, so it'll be just like the Mark III pedal. And um, then I can just uh, mark it, and then I'll, I'll tack it out of the car, obviously. And then I'll bolt it back together, put it in the car. A uh, little tip for fabricating things: if you have a uh, metal caliper, you can lock it in place with this little knob. And you just kind of lay it on the edge like this and then uh this this one's pretty sharp they're both pretty sharp honestly and you just kind of scribe it so now you see i got a really nice line right there no sharpie you don't have to worry about the sharpie being too far over whatever that's dead on exactly where i gotta cut it okay here's the uh, start of that bracket i'm making so it'll sit in there like this and this will go into the original bolt hole Nice and easy. So that'll be the layout of it. And so I'm gonna need a bolt to go across that, that span. All I could find was this really, really long bolt. So if you need a bolt made and you have something like this, all you gotta do is screw a, a nut on the end of it and then just kinda you know back it down to kind of a little bit further than you need so like I, I think right there at the end of that will be perfect this is how the bracket will look in the car the side post wise so then you just kind of run it down right about there looks good so I can just now I can uh, mark this cut this off right here so I cut the end of the bolt off and uh, beveled it a little bit so now all I gotta do is just run the nut off and it'll clean the threads up. Down in the car, I have the two plates bolted in on the side. And then here's the, uh, the front plate here. It'll just lay in there, just like that. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is get the uh, right angle now. So if I can get this angle correct now, it'll make everything else so much easier. By angle, I mean the like in and out of it. So I'm going to get the pedal and put it up in here and uh, just trying to basically exaggerate it to where it looks right and then I'll somehow take note of it. I think it's, it's going well. I think this is the best 
best idea yet tack this to the left side and just kick it out where i think it'll look all right and then bring it back in and try it and give it a little love tap with the hammer if it uh doesn't work come up with this bracket um see i've welded it all up fully there's the bolt holes right here a notch on the uh driver's side of the pedal I'm going to uh, let that cool off then I'll put it back in the car uh, ensure the exact location of the pedal mark that pull it out of the car tack it bring it back in it's it's a lot of that um, but as soon as that gets in there it's all tacked up everything works then I can fully weld it out and cool it off again um, and build the uh, I'll need to make a spacer for the inside so the pedal doesn't collapse so it'll be nice and strong and you know structurally sound then i can see if uh if i need to add anything else i think i will have to add a bracket to it if i add a bracket it'll probably go up and over uh, i'll show you guys when i'm underneath the car the pedal is tacked now you can see i got the notch there everything's welded fully on the uh this part of it but then you see this is the part uh, the actual pedal mounts to. I just have one tack right there. I'm uh, gonna put it in place, do all my measurements, make sure the angle's right, and make sure the pedal's like, you know, the, the pedal straight up and down. It's not kicked a little bit like that to the side. So as soon as I get that perfect, then I can pull it out and uh, fully weld it and then I can get to making a support brace. Pedals in place mocked up. I think it sits really really good. Yeah it's pretty in line with the brake pedal. I think it looks just you know it just looks it looks great down there. It looks like it's meant to be there. The Mark III gas pedal was two inches away. It's two and an eighth or something. It's it's pretty close. When it gets fully tightened, I, I bet it'll be perfect. If you look down here, you can see how it's mounted up. Mounts really well. I'm plenty happy with it. Gonna pull it out now, and then I'm gonna fully weld it. Got all the brackets painted up. I'll uh, bolt the pedal on and then uh, take it in the car, show you guys. It's relatively easy to put in. This would be my uh, 80th time underneath this car. It's horrible. Um, sick of it. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't recommend making a pedal mount. Uh, there is a company that sells them, but I was just worried about the quality of them. I, got some other stuff before and it was basically I had to redo a lot of things on it so I decided to make this myself and just laying in here that's just uh, killing my ribs I feel like I've been kicked in the ribs uh, numerous times but anyway I take take the pedal and you just slide it right into position just like that here I have the spacer in there as well come on it's much easier without a camera oh man well I can't do it with the camera here so I'll show you when it's uh, bolted on the pedal is in place I have a spacer bar in there so the uh the two pieces of metal can't collapse so it kind of makes it like a box so it's nice and strong and then uh back here i have a plate rod whatever you want to call it that goes from this same bolt back there to the main 13. after i tighten all that up uh pedal's done have the wire here uh, just gotta clean it up route it tape it up but as of now pedal is officially installed again guys uh 
you can do it yourself. You can spend the time to make it, be proud of it, or you can buy the the uh, already pre-made one. It would say it would save you a ton of time, but I'm I'm happy that I made it. That way, I don't have to worry about anything failing or breaking on it, or you know, flexing the firewall like crazy, which is uh, the issue I had with uh, that company. I had an issue with that on my Mark One, so. Just going off that experience, I decided to go ahead and tackle it myself. And I think it came out great.